Now we will look at SD 50.22. The Jata Sutta, there are two Jata Sutta here. S1.3, uh, which is the same as S55 to 58, and then S7.6. Uh, this uh, contained three verses, I think, yes. Uh, and they, they are given on two occasions, they, they are the same verses. The, the first is given, uh, it's, uh, given in reply to a question by a, a deity, and then the second one is, is again the same thing, the Buddha's reply to the, to the same question given by Jata Bharadwaja. So the second one is called Jata Bharadwaja Sutta. So we are doing two suttas at the same time here. So this is SD 50.22a and 22b. The, the first verse goes like this. Anto jata bahi jata jataya jatita paja tang tang gotama puchami ko imang vijataye jatan a tangle within, a tangle without. Beings are entangled in a tangle. This I ask of you, Gotama. Who disentangles this tangle? Right, so uh, this is a very famous question. It is even a, a riddle, if you like, because uh, it's well known. Notice this comes from S, uh, the first chapter of Sangyutta full of ancient riddles and some of you may even know that this sounds familiar because this is the very first verse of the Visuddhimagga this is the verse that Buddha Gosha has taken as the basis for his whole monograph called the Visuddhimagga alright let's look at the answer uh, okay, here in, in this first sutta, the Devata Jata Sutta, S1.23, we only have the verse uh, and, the, and the Buddha's answer. Okay, whereas in the other second sutta, Jata Varadvaja Sutta, we have kind of a bit of narrative, a bit of conclusion, which I'll come to in a moment. So let's look at this the first one. The, S1.23 Devata Jata Sutta. So the question is asked by this deity, then the Buddha gives three verses in reply. Sile Patitaya Naro Sapanyo Chittang Panyancha Bhavayang Atapi Nipako Bhikkhu So Imang Vijataye Jatanti. A man wisely establishing moral virtue and cultivating the mind in wisdom as among ardent and adept, this is the one who disentangles this tangle. Right, so this is one of those rare questions where it's a who question, normally it's what, right? So uh, who question is not very popular in the suttas because we're talking about a person. So normally in the suttas we talk about states, situations. So here, this first verse, interestingly, actually has three parts. If you look at the first part, the man, a man wisely established in moral virtue. So this is the first train in, in the precepts. Sila Sikha. Then second line, and cultivating the mind in wisdom. Right. So this is uh, this actually refers to meditation, although wisdom is mentioned. Then, among Arden and Adept, he is the one who disentangles the tangle. This is the wisdom aspect. And so, more or less, you have the three trainings there. That is why Buddha Gosha used this as the basis of his uh, book, the Visuddhimagga. Then, okay, this is the training verse. Next is the, training, uh, next, next is the verse about the Arahat. S fifty seven verse fifty seven. Yesang ragocha do socha avijaj virajita 
Kina sawa arahanto te sang wija tita jata. For whom lust and hate and ignorance too have been overcome, the arahats who have destroyed the influxes, for them the tangle is disentangled. So here, the tangle here is another term for defilements. Getting rid of all this, the person is awakened. So this is the arahat. And then comes the conclusion. Yata namancha rupancha ase sang uparujjati patigang rupa sanyacha etta sa chijjate jatati when name and form and without remainder and impaction and perception of form it is here that this tangle is cut just there's a hint on, on for us on what, how to uh, basically meditate or kind of free our minds from being attached to what's going on outside so here name and form it, Name is what the mind gives to something out there, and it, and you have this form, so to speak, this idea in our minds. So we live in this virtual reality, name and form, and this end without remainder. There's no more of this uprising, of naming and forming. So. How does this naming and forming work in the ordinary worldly person? There is impact. In other words, the internal sense faculty experiences the external sense object, there is consciousness, and then impact or contact, if you like. And then there is perception, form arises, feeling arises, and so on. So this is where the tangle is cut. It is where you don't get caught. You just look at it and that's all it is and let it go. So this is the hint given to us by the Buddha on how to practice our meditation. Right? You see, as you meditate, you hear sound, okay. you notice a sound. It's just sound and let it go. Okay? Then the famous Satipatthana approach, if you like. So the verse ends there. It's quite, uh, quite complete, if you like, in itself. A very short instruction summarizing some very deep meditation teachings. Alright, so this is the Dev Devata Jata Sutta, 20, SD 50.22a. Now, 22b is Jata Bharadwaja Sutta, the Bharadwaja Discourse on Tangles, S7.6. Here the Sutta starts, it gives us an introduction, gives us a kind of histor historical background, originating in Savati, then the Brahmin Jata Bharadwaja approached the Blessed One. Having approached the Blessed One, he exchanged greetings with the Blessed One. And when the courteous and friendly exchange was concluded, the Brahmin Jata Bharadwaja sat down at one side. Sitting thus at one side, the Brahmin said this to the Blessed One. Right, so he asked a question, right? A tangle within, a tangle without. See, beings are entangled in a, in a tangle. This I ask of you, Gautama. Who disentangle this tangle? Right? So in other words, who is this person? Who is able to uh, cut away all these tangles, all this mess? And then the Buddha gives the three verses of answer as before. I'll just read them. A man wisely established in moral virtue and cultivating the mind and wisdom as among ardent and adept, he is the one who disentangles this tangle, for whom lust and hate and ignorance too have been overcome. The arahats who have destroyed the influxes, for them the tangle is disentangled. When name and form and without remainder, and the impaction and perception of form, it is here that this tangle is cut. Right, so the verse ends there. Then the, the narrator tells us, When this was said, the Brahmin Jata Bharadwaja said this to the Blessed One, Excellent Master Gautama, Excellent Master Gautama, just as if one 
were to place upright what had been overturned, were to reveal what was hidden, were to show the way to one who was uh, lost, or were to hold up a lamb in the dark so that those with eyes could see forms. In the same way, in numerous ways, has the Dharma been made clear by the Blessed One. I go to the Blessed Gotama for refuge, to the Dharma and to the community of monks. May the Blessed One give me the going forth, give me the ordination. And the Brahmin Jatta Bharadwaja received the going forth and the ordination in the Blessed One's presence. Alright, so Star says only in the Blessed One's presence. He doesn't say the Buddha ordained him. So here probably is the Buddha instructed all the monks to admit this person who's ready. And then comes the conclu conclusion how Jatta Bharadwaja becomes an Arhat. But before that, just one more note. Again, here we see not really his name, I think. It's, it's more a kind of a, a description, a nickname, Jatta. Jatta means a matted hair. Well, it could be a matted hair, ascetic, right? So it's called Jatta Bharadwaja. And then that's one reason why you can say he's ready to become a monk and he quickly becomes an Arhat because he has been practicing in his own way. Then verse 9 says that not long after he was ordained, the Venerable Jatta Bharadwaja, dwelling alone, aloof, diligent, exertive, and resolute, in no long time at all, right here and now, having established it for himself, through direct knowledge, attain and dwell in the supreme goal of the holy life, for the sake of which sons of family go forth from the household life into homelessness. So this is the real reason why people go forth and renounce to become Arahats. Then the Arahats review knowledge. He directly knew birth is destroyed, the holy life has been lived, done is what to be done, there is no more of this state of being. And the Venerable Jatta Bharadwaja became one of the Arahats. So here's one more Bharadwaja who has become, who has awakened to the true teaching. So these are the, the great Arahats, although we don't hear much about them. But we do have these famous verses on account of which they touch the Dharma and, and in due course awakened. So this is a lesson for us. In other words, as long as we keep in touch with the suttas, as long as we open our minds and hearts, to the suttas, and we just learn and we reflect and remember something wonderful will happen to us. Even though we may not get enlightened in this life, we're preparing ourselves with this wonderful good karma. And in time to come, we will meet the Buddha and we easily understand the Dharma. Or maybe even before that, we will attain higher states. Now on that note, let us close this study remembering to practice the Dharma which is still available to us and to rejoice that we still remember the Buddha's teaching and to practice it as, to the best of our ability. By the power of such efforts, may we be blessed with loving kindness, with good health, wisdom, encouraged to at least aspire to attain stream winning in this life itself. May all our loved ones, those who have been kind and supportive of us, be well and happy and see the Dharma in this life itself too. May all those who are struggling, practicing the Dharma, and also those who have difficulties, who have doubts, may they too see the Dharma in this life itself. May all beings be well and happy. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.